Hello. Uh, I'm going to show you how to, well, hopefully show you how to just paint a, um, a nice, simple, effective landscape. Minimum of fuss, minimum of materials. A couple of blues, cobalt, ultramarine, brown matter, yellow ochre, put a bit above, a bit above, put a bit of raw number, a bit of cad yellow, and I'll have a bit of turquoise there. But it will basically be cobalt, ultramarine, brown matter, yellow ochre. And the drawing is going to be just a simple, it's sort of a scene. I do my demos and stuff quite a bit. It's Vertical. There. And I'll do. Join them. Right. A simple sky. Start with a yellow. Okay. Gonna have this this side really light because that house is gonna be quite dark. So and I am mixing dry colour up in palette. Just scrub it. Put that over there. Don't need to get any hard edges. So I'm a bit unsure what colours these are, but <laughs> white bits. I've said before, it holds your brush at this end. You get more freedom, more freshness. And I've barely touched colour, I've just used stuff from my palette. Use your arm. Paint your arm. Nice some nice white bits there. Something up in there. Like so. Don't really like that white bit. I won't mess about too much with it. I'll have a smaller brush. That sort of thing's happening. Foreground there. It's uh, too, too much filled in. Uh, I haven't got me paper towels. Hold on. <laughs> Let it dry for a bit anyway. These do come handy, these paper towels. Oh. Also, come in handy for when you cut a picture frame and you're going to see plaster. Well, if you get a dry brush on your towel, see, I sometimes let them drip. But hopefully, this is going to be sort of done in one at a time. I get to this foreground and the foreground I'm just gonna replicate paint that one so with the arm just rocked and then if we had some don't you like doing greens I 
When they were, they, they do work, but when they don't, <laughs> they do don't. Anyway, see what that does. The faster you paint, you leave these white bits. You can never replicate them. If you just put a bit, well, let's put a bit of blue, a bit of darker blue, as if she's coming, as she's coming closer. That is a bluey. Leave it. Then leave that, I suppose. I put some, some reds. So that was like a, so that was a blue, a yellow, and there's a red coming in somewhere. So you're getting like your three primaries. Just put bits in. A bit of dappling. Right. As that's virtually dry, I just might put a bit of um, uh, spray. There you are. Well, you sneezes on them. <laughs> anyway. right. Now for a distant hill, because you have got a bit of um, white there that's going to have that bit bluer. Colours go bluer as the, as the that's got a bit of white bit, so that this paint is not going to go past it. It might drip down there. Do you think that's going to be darker? See, that looks quite cool right now, but that's going to dry lighter. You probably struggle to see actually. What I'll do while I've got that paint, see, that's where it's going into that, that wet wash in the front. That's just fresh water. See, in a short period of time, you've got your sky, which is too simple beyond belief. You've got your background. And once this building's in, you, you're nearly done. That's, oh, that's going to... That paper's cockled, it's going to leave a big white street there. Doesn't matter. Oops. Right, I'm just going to let that dry, I think. Because it needs to be... Just put bits... These purple bits that are bleeding into the foreground, leave them. You start playing messing about with that now, it'll just go muddy. That's gonna... Mm, never mind. That's basically your foreground done, and your colours that you're using. Put them into your foreground. I don't know, didn't it? tapping, shaking. Yeah. Hmm. Good thing about these bottles. Put vodka in or anything, people think it's still drinking Lucas Air. <laughs> it is Lucas Air, obviously. Right. I don't know whether I should leave this to dry or not. So that is going to be. That's quite dry because I did nothing over there basically, just a very light wash. So if you just leave the camera rolling a bit, I won't mind doing this all in one one hit. Because of the demos I've done, I think the camera only lasts about twenty minutes before it turns itself off. But no, I think I will turn it off. But only, for, only to save the battery on the camera. And you'd be literally watching paint dry. Because I'm not going to do anything else now before it's dry. So I'll see you in about 10 minutes. Bye.